Well, easier than expected. So here we are, the 6th, early morning, the day after the election, and I would have never imagined that we would have the results that we have so soon. And so I guess it was a little bit overblown, the fact that the liberal left Democratic Party was going to go somewhat nuclear and trying to capture another term for the Biden slash Harris administration. But then again, something just doesn't feel right whatsoever. And I'm curious to get your thoughts on this because maybe I'm just the only one, but that was too easy. But then again, I realized between November 6th all the way to January 6th, that 60 day plus window could probably end up being an eternity. So let's talk about that. All right, so wanted to take a quick minute, share some thoughts. Here we are early morning, day after the election, and it went a lot smoother than I would have ever imagined. And then that's what has me somewhat skeptical because with all the anticipated pushback from fraudulent ballots, even here in Michigan, I've seen video footage already this morning of ballots being brought in late night, but to, to no avail, because according to current statistics and all the information being given, every major news source has already called the victory for Trump. He's even given his little acceptance speech type of thing. So here we are now, what comes next? And these are the things that I want to walk through and get your thoughts on what you think is next, because even though things appear to be optimistic, a lot of Trump supporters are extremely excited. No one I would imagine would have thought that it would have been this easy. And that leads me to wonder why, and then what's next? And so I wanted to share with you some thoughts about some things that could be possibilities. But once again, I wanna, don't want to overblow anything and go you know, too far with the tinfoil hat on. But then again, we got to be realistic because we know what's at stake here. Regardless, as I mentioned before, whoever is in office, we still have a sovereign debt crisis that's looming with current interest rates of concern. And then we have the current $36 trillion in county. And so I'll share that visual aid basically showing how every president since we, we all can since we says who knows have been adding to the debt and the debt has grown exponential so i do anticipate between today and january 6th some type of unforeseen or intentional event because once again we have a nation flooded with millions of foreigners of which i believe a lot of those foreigners happen to probably be young militarized age men and so once again, they weren't brought here for nothing. And so I think that some cell phones might be going off, some text messages may be given out in the days ahead or perhaps months to put those individuals to work because they're not getting paid, prepaid cars, housing, food, shelter, but nothing. So once again, we'll have to wait and see, but I guess I want to just share with you some things off the top of my mind that could be possible scenarios of things to be on the lookout. So as of right now, morning, go to Silver's Dow, cryptos up. And so we know that the last two or three months, Trump became a crypto enthusiast in reference to him wanting to make Bitcoin a viable option for our payment structure moving forward, even throwing out words of using Bitcoin to perhaps pay off the national debt. So we'll see. And then of course, a lot of the alternative altcoins are also pumping one in particular, which is associated with Elon Musk and the fact that he if brought on to the Trump staff, he has a whole financial economic role as well. And so you better believe in order to get this economy back in a place of growth and stability, they're going to need to do some innovative type of things. And so I can see the technology sector, software, and the blockchain being utilized for that. But then again, and watching a video from Chainlink, which is a blockchain company who's partnered with all the world's central banks, watching a video that I actually shared on Telegram about to some of the developments that they're working towards and they are right on course for the rolling out of CBDCs global. So even though Trump has come out and said that he will not allow CBDCs, that is an admirable and worth noting task on his part. But then again, he has yet to address underlying crisis of the debt, which is our currency. And so he can't make America great again without addressing the debt, which is attached to the currency. And as of right now, the visual aid still stands. The purchasing power of our currency is not going to go up. And so I anticipate whatever comes there to be more debt, more deficits and more destruction in reference to the standard of living for us who rely upon the Federal Reserve note system. And so outside of him, probably if he gets in without any hiccups after January 6th, shake things up drastically, 
We'll see what type of bold policies he puts out there. But then again, because we're, we're experiencing a global monetary restructuring, I don't anticipate nothing that's going to be exciting. It's going to put America back in the forefront to where we're going to be world leaders again. And he's going to bring jobs back and all that stuff back to America in time before things uh, completely unravels. And so once again, we're winning. See the manufacturing segment here in the Metro Detroit area, layoffs massively, tech sector layoffs, name the industry layoffs. Those are tremors because of the oversaturation of debt in all sectors and our inability to grow naturally because of debt's cancerous like effects. It erodes the ability for growth and for creativity and for everything else. And then you factor in the fact our government, Congress in of itself, has been the life sucking mechanism that has utilized the central bank to accomplish this. So none of this is accidental. It's all intentional. And so I will re reserve my thoughts and opinions on the administration and the cabinet and the supporting staff that he's going to put around him until we see more fruits that falls from the tree. But between now and January 6, it's a question. What are you guys expecting? Are there some events that's waiting to be unleashed with all this still early signs of a victory? So. We'll have to wait and see, but one thing is for sure. I had anticipate stock markets rally, cryptos rally, and because of the speculation based upon what Trump will probably promise in his somewhat landish calls and tweets as to what he wants to do, he's going to juice the markets because he wouldn't want to cause any type of jitters or uncertainty that would have this house of cards coming down intentionally on his watch. And so that's another thing to consider. Will the Biden administration? do something stupid, hand over this economy by breaking it down to its bare knuckles, bare knees. So that come January 6th, Trump is forced to start trying to rebuild the economy because it's already crumbed. So I would more so lean towards that side that this current administration would not hand over or will not hand over a functioning economy to the new next administration, given the fact that they appear to be that left good guy, bad guy. They're not going to want to help their enemy type of thing. But all along behind the surface, there's controlling forces that are still at play. The Uber oligarchy families, the Kazarian individuals that are in, in control, they still are pulling the strings at the top level. And what we get are the people in front of the screens that do all the talking off the ton of problems and they look left and right. So I, I expect more of that. But once again, just some will be long winded, just sharing some early morning thoughts. Gold is down, cryptos rally. And so we'll have to wait and see how all this unfolds. But the question is, what are you thinking? What do you anticipate coming? How will this play out? And uh, yeah, or am I just completely overblowing this? Once again, as someone who try, tries to be analytical and try to take all the data, compile it and give it a somewhat of a skeptical yet realistic view time. That's just my two cents on it. But anyway, drop a comment, share your thoughts. Curious to hear what you guys think. And I think I'll do some more research, get back at it and uh, yeah, dive deeper into some of this news and try to deliver it to you guys. But other than that, be blessed, be safe. Drop some comments. If you found value, hit that thumbs up, take this, share it. Let's get some dialogue going. Shalom.